एवरी वन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माई YouTube क्लास आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ एज योर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एज योर स्टोरेज अकाउंट इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट एज योर स्टोरेज अकाउंट एंड वी क्रिएटेड अ वन कंटेनर इन द कंटेनर वी आर एबल टू अपलोड द डेटा फ्रॉम ऑन प्रोमाइसिस मशीन टू एज योर ब्लॉक कंटेनर्स now i'm going to move ourselves to next topic like uh, in our blob we have a n number of options are available like you can change the format of your blob storage i'm talking about the access tier we'll talk about the access tier how many types of access tier are available we'll discuss about life cycle management and also we'll try to understand about concept of share file share which is the another options which is available in our azure storage account so this is our agenda for this session and uh, we'll try to implement each and everything with practical but before that you should know about the concept as we discussed in our previous class blob or container is a type of unstructured based data storage right means we are able to upload unstructured data in our container or in our blob file share is also responsible to contain unstructured data table and queues responsible to contain the structured data in single blob we have a three different way to upload our data i'm talking about access tier like hot access tier cool access tier and archive with the help of access tier we are able to manage the billing or costing of our azure storage so in this class we'll discuss about uh the access tier of our blob and also we'll discuss about how to configure life cycle management so this is our agenda so let's try to move ourselves to desktop screen and give, uh, give you the proper step how to manage life cycle management and access tier of our storage right so let me move ourselves to azure portal and give you the complete information about azure storage services we are on page of our azure storage and in previous class we have already created one storage account so i'm just going to open our azure storage account that we created this is our storage account panel and in the storage account we are able to find two different storage accounts are available what i'm going to do i'm just going to open any storage account like this and in the storage account we are able to find multiple options like containers file shares queues and tables right let me click on container and create one container then we'll upload the data from on premises click container although i have already created two container the container name is azure data i want to use it for public label access anyone can access our container click create this is blank container it's our responsibility to upload the data refresh the page of container and it will give you our containers detail as your data open it select upload option and we just need to upload the data from on premises select files in the in the in the on premises files i'm just going to upload these files these all are the files just need to select open it and upload the basic way that can help us to upload the data from on premises to azure storage especially in case of container now every data each and every data that we uploaded which is available in hot tier right this is the tier let me explain you about the meaning of access tier whenever we proceed and create a uh, account over azure portal and create container and try to upload the data it give us a three different way or three different access tier to put our data in our container azure storage access tier right this is our agenda so i'm going to give you the complete information about the access tier for example this is our azure storage account 
R. You can say that this is our container. We have a three different uh, way to upload the data like as a hot tier. We can upload the data in format of cool tier and third one is archive. It's our responsibility. We should know about the gap between three different uh, types of access tier, which is also considered as a access tier. Now, I'm going to upload one TB of data like uh, I wanted to upload one TB of data as a hot tier. Same data I wanted to upload in case of cool tier and archive as well. So as an administrator, it's our responsibility. We should know about the charges for hot tier, cool tier and access tier, uh, archive tier. In case of uh, hot tier, how much you need to pay? You have to pay $20 per month. This is the cost for 1 TB space, 1 TB of data. About downloading is fully free means no need to pay any amount for downloading. Next talk about cool tier about the cool tier. You have to pay the amount for cool tier up to $10 per month, right? And the downloading charge also $10 each download. This is the cost for cool tier archive only $2 per month this is the cost for rent and if you want to download your 1 TB of data you have to pay $22 per download this is the cost related to the access tier means as an administrator you need to recognize the usage of your data according to the data's, data's usage you can proceed with hot tier cool tier or archive tier it's fully depend upon you okay I hope you understand about it. Now we have another option in Azure storage, which is considered as a life cycle management. The life cycle management is a built in tool or service that help us to change your access there automatic. For example, you uploaded a data in format of uh, hot air but after six months you want to convert it into the archive or you want to delete the data or you want to move it into the cool tier so life cycle management can help us how it work back to the azure portal let me show you the entire procedure to configure life cycle management open azure portal select your storage account that we created and in the storage account we are able to find our container select any data and we have option to change the access tier select data and click change tier but this is the manual activity hot tier this is your current uh, activity and you can make it cool or archive both options are available but think about it if you have a multiple data and you want to change after three months or four months. So we have option to schedule it. The scheduling is considered as a life cycle management. Open our Azure storage account and open data management option, then click life cycle management, right? We just need to click on life cycle management. In the life cycle management, just need to click add rules. Under the rule, we just need to create few rules like type the name test tier. This is the rule name. I want to apply for blog base blob. Click OK. Last modified. No need to make any changes. Enter the value, the meaning of value after how many days. So I'm going to proceed with after seven days. What happened after seven days, then delete blob, move to the cool storage archive and delete three different options are available because your entire data's uh, data are available in 
hot air that's why we are able to move it into cool or archive or delete means if you don't want to put your data after seven days your data will be deleted if you want to change the access there you want to transfer into archive just need to select the archive and click add now we successfully configured the access tier and life cycle management i hope you understand about the concept of uh, life cycle management and access tier of azure storage if you have any question if you have any doubt please let me know or drop a comment this is all about azure ag104 10th session in next class in next uh, session we will discuss about how to configure azure storage file share or uh, azure file share stay tuned with teach me cloud and we'll discuss more about the storage services in next class thank you guys take care do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel bye bye